Try and knew about this virus since at least December of 2019. And they knew it could be transmitted person to person. They denied that the virus even existed to begin with. Silenced and killed the doctors that were trying to get the word out and warn the people. Trying to keep insisting that the doctors were spreading lies. That it didn't exist. And then once they acknowledged that it existed, China insisted that, okay, it exists, but it's not being passed person to person. And of course now we all know that that was a lie. China could have warned us, the whole world, much sooner. They could have done a much better job at containing this. They failed. And they failed. They they also had the World Health Organization World Health Organization there to back them up. To help them fail. Help them destroy the world pretty much. China's claiming they've had no more than eighty thousand cases. Every expert in the world is saying that that is, of course, a lie. There's reports coming out now that this did in fact come from a lab, but it was an accident. Yeah, it was an accident. Of course, the Chinese government is saying that this is also a lie. And also, I learned some new information today. China, uh, the Chinese are also doing something else. China is releasing videos in the Middle East saying that this virus was brought to the world from the United States. We unleashed it. We brought it to China. During the 2019 military games, they're saying, well, of course, since the United States has more cases than any other country in the world, it only makes sense that it came from them. Ignoring the fact that it started in fucking Wuhan, China. That's where the cases began. So China's telling their people that it came from the United States. And now China is telling the Middle East that it came from the United States. How dangerous is that? The Middle East doesn't need another reason to hate us, to want to kill us, to cause Terrorism, I mean, this could spawn new terrorist groups. The only reason China would do something like that, knowing that it would cause further tension in the Middle East, knowing it would cause further battles and death and destruction, they would know this. This means this is part of their plan to further destroy the United States. So they want to ruin us financially. They want to make us look weak. And now they want to further escalate what's been going on in the Middle East for decades now. So obviously, we can't take China by their word. They obviously cannot be trusted. That's why I have no doubt it came from a lab. And it wasn't an accident. It was on purpose. And it brings me to this question. A country this uncivilized. A country this full of shit. This country that is so untrustworthy. Should we even be involved with them at all, in any way, shape, or form? Should we be trading with China? Should we be doing anything with a country like this? I don't, I don't think we should. 
Why should we spend money buying from a country like this? Yeah, they're buying from us too, but there's other countries in the world to buy from us also. And during all this, McDonald's has plans to further invest in China. Starbucks has plans to further invest in China. And it's like, you people are disgraceful. Maybe we should cut all ties, including all trade. And I hate to say it, but maybe even the trade deal that Donald Trump just finished negotiating. I mean, why should we be involved with them? If they can do this once, they can do it again. They can have another virus outbreak. They can lie about it. They can cover it up. They can do all of this again and destroy the world a second time. The other thing I've been wondering is, could this possibly, with further escalating tensions between the United States and China, could this possibly lead to a war? Um, China absolutely cannot be allowed to get away with what they did. They need to be punished in some way. But the last thing the world needs is a war with China. It's like the, the world's second largest economy. I believe their army is actually larger than ours. They have nuclear weapons. We have nuclear weapons. It would not be a good situation. So although China can't be allowed to get away with it, war is not a place we want to go. And one last thing. As of today, protests have begun around the country. They started, I believe, in Michigan, and they've spread to other states, including Ohio. Of citizens demanding that the state be reopened, their state be reopened, saying they're basically tired of this. Let's move on. Throughout the world, over the past about three about two or three years, around the world, there have been mass protests like the world has never seen violent shit. In China, for example, Hong Kong has been protesting since November 2018. And there's several countries, there's at least 14 or more, that are having historical you might as well call them riots. And so far that has not spread to the United States. But what if this virus is the thing to tip us over the edge to the point to where we start mass riots in the street that goes on for years these protests that we saw today, they weren't violent, they weren't burning down the town, they weren't anything like that. They are pretty civil. But what if this is the beginning of worse things to come, is what I'm thinking. They start off nice, peaceful, they could lead to something worse.